Hello everyone. For this lesson, I'll show you how to solve absolute value inequalities. All right, let's take a look at the first scenario. When we have um, the less than symbol, right? So we have the absolute value of x plus three and it's less than six. So whenever you see this less than, right? This guy right here. Now this also works for uh, less than or equal to, but we'll take a look at the less than first, right? Uh, we can actually write this as a compound inequality, right? So if you recall, a compound inequality um, can be set up like this here, okay? So this is the pattern that you want to use when you see uh, the less than or the less than or equal to, okay? So whenever you see this symbol here, less than, um, you're going to write rewrite it as an, uh, a compound inequality just like this here, where the x plus 3, right? goes right in the middle uh, and then it's greater than the negative of whatever this number is right so it's negative six and uh, and it's less than the positive six okay so you split it up into uh, those inequalities um, as, as shown here All right so now we can actually solve for it right so now this becomes so if you look at the first one so let's highlight this one here let's say uh, I want to take a look at this here right so let me rewrite it on this uh, blank space here we have negative 6 right it's less than x plus 3 right so let's solve for x uh, I'm going to subtract minus 3 minus 3 right so now I have uh, x on this side because this and this they cancel right and we have negative 9 on this side Right, so x is greater than negative 9. So let's circle that one there. Okay, let's do the exact same thing, but I want to do it for this inequality here. Okay, x plus 3 is less than 6. So let's write that down. We have x plus 3 and it's less than 6. Right, so it's a one step equation here. So I'm just going to minus 3 to both sides. Right. And now this becomes, right, this one and this one, they go to zero. So we have x less than uh, 3. And that's our uh, inequality here, x less than 3. All right, so now what does this look like on a number line? Well, let's uh, make our number line right here. Okay. Uh, you always want to indicate where zero is, right? And we're looking at 3 and negative 9. So I'm going to count off by 3. So this is going to be uh, 3, 6. I think we can stop there. And negative 3, negative 6, and negative 9. I think that's enough. All right. So if we go back to our first one here, right, this guy here, uh, x is greater than negative 9. So it's going to be um, an open circle at negative 9 and it's going to go in this direction here okay and this one right this guy here x is less than 3 so open circle at 3 and it's going to go over here in this direction now it's an uh, it's an and right so this is the compound inequality and we want to find the overlap so the overlap right it's just let me do it in pink here it's from negative 9 all the way to 3 and it's not inclusive so you don't want to include negative 9 and 3 so that's why we left it as the open circle right so that's our answer for this um, problem that we started out with right here we, we have to solve right uh, the absolute value of x plus 3 and it's less than 6 so the answer would be just the pink, right? Right here. And we're done. And we're happy. All right, let's take a look at the other case, right? Where you have this one here. And this is the greater than, right? So whenever you see this um, symbol here, and it's the absolute value of 2x minus 3, uh, and it's greater than 5, right? So, so this also works for greater than or equal to. Okay, so keep that in mind. So whenever you see this pattern, right? 
So whenever you see this absolute value um, inequality where it's greater than the number, you want to use the or compound inequality, right? So you want to split it up like this here. So you take the 2x minus 3 and you make it less than the negative 5, right? Originally it was 5, so you make it to a negative 5, right? And, well, it's or. You want to write it also as 2x minus 3 greater than the positive number, right? So that's the pattern. So let me repeat that. So rewrite whatever's inside the absolute value symbol, 2x minus 3. You're going to do that twice, right? One with the minus sign and one with the plus sign, okay? So 2x minus 3 is going to be less than the negative, right? And 2x minus 3 is going to be greater than the positive, okay? So, and, and you separate that with the or, right? So it's a compound inequality using the or, right? So now we can try to solve for this, okay? So let me, uh, I'll take this color here. So the first one we have is this guy right here. Okay, so it's 2x minus 3 and it's less than negative 5. So I'm going to solve that quickly, right? So I'm going to add 3, add 3, and now this becomes uh, 2x less than negative 2, right? And then I'm going to divide both sides by the 2, and I'm going to have x, right, less than negative 1. Okay, so that's the first one. So let me uh, find the other one, which is this guy here, 2x minus 3 greater than 5. So let me do that over here. So let's rewrite that, 2x, I should me circle this one first. Okay, that's better. And so this one is 2x minus 3. It's greater than 5, right? So I will add 3 to both sides. And that'll give me 2x, right? Greater than 8. And we can just solve right here. x is greater than 4, right? So we have x greater than 4. Right? And remember, this is separated by the or, right? So x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 4, right? So let's make our number line real quick. Here we go, right? I want to indicate where 0 is. And we're looking at negative 1 and 4, so let's, uh, let's just go up by 1, right? 1 here, 2, 3 four, five, I think that's good. And then I can just go to negative one, negative two, I think that's enough, right? So we go ahead and do the first one here. So it's this one right here, x is less than negative one. So it's gonna be an open circle at negative one, right? And it's gonna go in this direction since x is less than negative one, All right? In the same way, uh, I'm going to take a look at this one here. X is greater than 4. So it's going to be an open circle at 4. And I'm going to go in this direction since it's X greater than 4. Right? So this is separated by the OR. So both. Right? So let me do this in pink here. So we started off with this here. The absolute value of 2X minus 3. And it's greater than 5. Right? So the solution after I re it, it's this number line here, right? So it's uh, x less than negative one or x greater than four. So both of the um, both of them will be the answer, and we're done, and we're happy. All right, let's take a look at this problem here. Let's say we have the absolute value of 2n and it's less than or equal to 10. All right, so we, we have to split this up, right? Since it's less than or equal to, uh, I'm gonna rewrite this as a co compound inequality, right? So it's going to be negative 10 less than 
whatever's inside the absolute value symbol, in this case it's 2n, oh I'm sorry, this is less than or equal to, and then less than or equal to uh, 10. Okay? So recall from the last uh, problem I showed you, right, the first one actually, um, the 10, you make it negative, that goes on the left hand side, right? And then the 10 positive goes on the right hand side, and the 2n goes right in the middle. So this is the and compound inequality, okay? So then we can just solve it, right? So now this becomes, uh, we can separate the two different problems here. We want to uh, look at it like that. All right, so this one is going to be uh, negative 10 less than or equal to 2n. So we'll solve that really quick on this side. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So we have negative 5 less than or equal to n. Okay, or I can just reverse it, right? n is greater or equal to negative 5. I like to write that um, way better. Okay, so that's our first answer. All right, so let's take a look at this one here. I'm right, going to take a look at this one and let me do it right next to it, uh, right here. All right, so it's going to be 2n less than or equal to 10. And again, I'm just going to divide both sides by 2. Right, so now we have um, n is less than or equal to 5. Right, and again, this is separated by the word and. Right, since it's less than or equal to, okay? So now we can read this as um, n is greater or equal to negative five and n is less than or equal to five, right? So let's draw our number line real quick. And I'm just gonna indicate where zero is. So I'm just gonna go to five and negative five, okay? And so like this one here, actually, change the color a little bit here. So this one here, n greater or equal to negative 5, that's going to be a closed circle at negative 5, and it's going to go in this direction. Okay? And then this one here, right? n is less than or equal to 5. Actually, I think it's this color. Yeah, right? This one here, n less than or equal to negative 5. So it's going to be closed circle at 5, and it's going to go in this direction. Okay? All right, so I'm going to do the final answer in pink, all right? So we want the and, right? So it's going to be like this. They're both closed circles, and... There we go, right in the middle. All right, so that's my final answer here. It's in pink, all right? So we start off with this, all right? Then we solve for each uh, inequality separated by the and, right? Because it's a compound um, inequality. And then there you go, we have it. That's our final answer. And it's in pink, okay? And we're happy. All right, let me do another one so you guys can get the hang of it. Um, let's say I have uh, the absolute value of x minus 2, right? And then you have a minus 3 outside, and it's greater than 5. Okay, let's say we have that. All right, the first thing I want to do now is to simplify this a little bit, right? Um, so I'm going to add 3, add 3. Right, so this will get me to the absolute value of x minus two, and it's greater than eight. Right, so since this is right, the greater than we know we're going to use the word or, right, uh, the compounding quality with the word or, right. So how can we split this up? Right, so remember, um, let's pick this one here. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this as. Um, x minus 2 is less than the negative, right? So this is the negative uh, of 8, okay? That's the first one. 
and then we can actually solve this real quick. So let's add two, add two. So x is less than negative six, right? That one, that one, they, they go away. So we have that first one, right? And let's do this one for the next one. Um, separate it here. Remember, this is the plus sign. So we're gonna take whatever's inside the absolute value symbol. In this case, it's x minus two, but we're gonna make it greater than the positive of this number. Well, it's just positive eight in this case, right? So again, let's solve this real quick. So let's add two, add two, and this will give us uh, the x greater than 10, okay? And remember, we wanted uh, to use the, uh, the or statement, right? The compounding quality using the word or. So this reads um, x is less than negative six, or x is greater than 10, all right? So how can we graph that? So if you recall, let's make some room here, right? Let's make my number line, right? And we're looking at 10, so let's go up by five. Uh, let's go up by two, actually. Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10. So two, four, six, eight, 10. And then let's go down by negative two. 2, so negative 2, negative 4, I think negative 6 would be good, right? So now we have, uh, let's do the, this one first, right? x is less than negative 6, so it's going to be um, open circle at negative 6, and it's going to go in this direction, right? On the left-hand side. Right, so, and then this one is x greater than 10, right? Oops, so it's gonna go to, uh, start at 10, open circle, and it's gonna go in this direction, right? So it's either this one or this one, so, but both of them um, will be included in our final answer. So we're gonna circle both of them. All right, so that's our final answer, and we're done, and we're happy.